today 28 May 2017 this Syrian hamster female uh, one and a half years old weight 2 2 uh, weight about uh, wait, come down first sit down first 2 2 4 uh. it's about wait. it varies uh, huh? ok 2 1 9, two, one, nine. ok the, the complaint is this back there's a, there's a swelling Two, two golf ball size actually or one and a, one and a half golf ball size and uh, it's, how long is it this swelling? Mm, about maybe two months is it growing bigger and bigger? yeah, yeah. appetite? Uh, normal huh? normal? normal. stools? normal oh, wait, can, you, can you turn him upside down? Mm -hmm. undo the huh? oh, she. just see the below uh. two on the to here first. Uh, she turn first. Wait, hold, hold the neck first. Does it involve the lower part? No. Lower part is okay. The upper part, no. Wait, hold uh. Let's press first. Then you can pass motion, no? Uh. Yeah. Normal. Uh. Mm. Two months, are you sure it's two months? It doesn't bite, yeah? No. Quite sure gentle one. Anymore. Okay, now this this may may be uh, separated or or involved with the muscles, you know. Mm. Only when we operate them we know. Okay. So normally the surgery is open up this way and take out shell out the tumor, but it's so big the, the hamster might die from blood loss, you know. So you must understand the risk. Uh, okay. Because then but when you come earlier, you see? Earlier when it was smaller, that would be safer. Mm. This side? Yeah, the whole thing is swollen, actually quite a big one. One person hold where are the gloves? Come already don't know, huh? Must take the glove, huh? I'll put it here then why? Okay, she holds her head now. I will hold. She will hold, okay. So, in uh, hamster anesthesia and surgery, my tip to, to the vets is that try not to... try not to uh, start shaving after sedation. Because sedation gives you a very short period of time. That's why one person hold the head is better. And one person do the clipping. Yeah? Quite a big area. Yeah. And uh, the best is to to try and try and click board first. We will know if it's spread, then we know the abscess of hematoma is possible or cyst. Huh? You can't say you can't declare abscess just like that because they are housed separately. That's why I ask. Huh? Put on the table, I don't hold it. Huh? Put the, the everything on the table, not in the middle of the middle of the air. Huh? Oh, uh, just like the, the dog and cat, same thing. You, see? you hold the dog and cat on the table, on the table. Yeah. Just press. It looks very much like an abscess or hematoma or cyst. Yeah. But we need still need to shave off all first. Yeah. Then we will take a needle and uh, aspirate them. The second step, first step, clipboard first for surgery. In front also. We take a look this The front here, yeah. Okay, that's good. You can see the the margins, the margins of the swelling. Certainly looks very much like a soft. You let go. A soft swelling. Hold the leg. Hold the leg. Then don't wear gloves. Don't wear gloves. 
if you if you don't need to hold the head, you know, just turn turn slowly first. So this will save a lot of time, reducing the anesthetic risk. Rather than you you anesthetize or you sedate and then you start shaving. Now it could be an infected tumor as well. Doesn't mean that uh, it is definitely abscess. After this, we just clean it up. Then we take a needle to aspirate. Aspirate. Step four. Just clean up the do. Ready? Okay. Now, by palpation, we know that there's some tissues below, but it could be in the uh, abscess too. But let me just get aspirate. Now, normally, if there's abscess, in this case, it's taking more too much, so we know already. So, this saved a lot of problem here. Yeah. Okay. Lancet is like oral abscess. You have the lancet to release the blood clot. Normally there is a blood. There's a, there's a capsule there. There's a capsule. So it's not really a, a pure hemat hematoma. It could be a hemangios sarcoma. Yeah. So you get some gas first. So it's still a tumor. So I'm trying to show it up. Okay. Let's show it out. If possible. Yeah. Okay, now it's the end of the end operation. The Lego first. We clean up the, hamst the hamster and uh, there's still some more blood at the side but you can see this uh, subcutaneous lump which could be a hemangiosarcoma. It's quite big, almost uh, half the length of the Syrian hamster. We take a weighing machine and see what's the weight. Okay, I'll check out the hamster. Yeah, he's still sleeping and uh, you can see it's basically based on uh, isoflurane gas anesthesia to effect and could be very careful because too little you, they die from shock too much of course you die from overdose now you can see I stitch out at 4-0 I use 4-0 so we weigh both together first we weigh, we weigh both together and then we minus the ready? we minus the hamster weight we both together. Ready? Okay, go, go ahead. You can, can, can put this direct on or wait? You cannot, okay. Can you see? Cannot, cannot, cannot be direct. Just like wait, ready? No, you gotta wait this to, to zero first, right? We, we need to zero it. He is still sleeping uh. now. You can see how how, how long that is eight centimeter by four centimeter. The, okay, so we we weigh first. Okay, put down three nine set uh, three nine two three nine two. Okay, I'm sorry, still put, put it put it down here again. We we'll put it back inside the the container ready first. We don't do any more cleaning up in case of hypothermia. So then recover first. Okay, so minus how much? Minus the hamster weight was just now we did it. We minus this one, yeah. No, I don't know what is this, huh? this is really a fatty seesaw. Hmm? 259. 259 just now? 392. So, how much is it? There is the weight of the, is it the weight of the lump? Yeah. So, how much? 359. 253 what just now? 392 399 will be 40 la. 392 will be uh, how many? 30 330 
No, I mean this this one, this one, this this bump. Three nine two minus two five nine is how much? Three hundred thirty. No lah. Three nine two minus two five nine. Huh? Three nine what? One. Okay. Three nine one, two five nine, so. Thirty three. Three two. Thirty two grams. This is suspect. Three hundred two. No, no thirty two. Thirty two. Thirty two. Thirty two grams. Eh, it that thirty two grams ah. So as I say, it was ten percent of the body weight ah. About that. So it's quite a big one. So I hope the blood loss is not too serious. Them cells are already are already uh waking up. Okay, so finish already. So we close. Time taken, ten forty nine. So nearly, nearly one hour. Okay, this post op weight. We see the weight now. What's the weight? Post op. This two hours after surgery. How many? One three three. One three three. Yeah. Okay, so one three three. Okay, weigh the hem the the lump, the lump, the tumor. So it's zero now. This way is it seventy one. Seventy one grams. So post op weight is one three three. Write down one three three. So pre pre op weight is two one nine. So pre op is two one nine. Then uh, some of them could be due to the blood. Yeah, there's a blood inside. So what's the answer? Two one nine minus seventy one should be how many? Should be two, one, three. One four eight. It should be one four eight. So part of it could be due to. But it's only one three three right post op. Yeah. Okay. So we uh, measure the the lump. What what's the measurement? Measure what's the length? What's the width? Okay, what's the length? In centimeters, yeah. Just measure like this, kind of just below, below, kind of. How many? What's how many centimeters? 8.5. Okay, then the 8.5 times the width. Seven. 8.5 and seven. Okay, times the height. The height roughly one, one centimeter, yeah. Okay, so this is the. This is the tumor. It's a subcutaneous tumor, which I dissect out slowly from the back. Yeah, and uh, hamster looks good now. So it's mostly a subcutaneous fat tumor, but there's blood inside because we aspirated the blood inside the tumor. So. The anesthesia was isoflurane only, <coughs> isoflurane gas. So you can go home here. I'm sure it's okay. So give isoflurane to effect. Give isoflurane gas to effect. The assistant must be very good so that uh, the hamster wouldn't die from the. I saw foreign gas. Then uh, I excise the tumor by blunt dissection and pull it out. There was little bleeding. I ligate like one vessel. And uh, overall, it looks okay now. It's two hours post op. So we'll be going home soon. I put antibiotics and painkillers.